Andy Reid and the Philadelphia Eagles continue to mourn the loss of the coach's oldest son, Garrett, who was found dead Sunday morning in his room at the club's training camp at Lehigh University. Diane's just on her way back. She went to Garrett Reed's funeral because Tammy Reed had kind of reached out to her at the owner's meeting, you know, and uh, so since we unfortunately share a little bit of a bond. Last January, while still the Packers offensive coordinator, Joe Philbin interviewed for the Dolphins head coaching job. But before hearing back from Miami, he got another call. I uh, flew home and got home at about 8.30 or 9 o'clock. We, we were going to start preparation for our playoff game. You know, then things started unfolding uh, on Sunday. Michael Philbin, the 21-year-old son of Packers offensive coordinator Joe Philbin, was found dead Monday in a frozen river in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. As we were waiting in the police station, uh, you know, our daughter, who was 10 years old, uh, put her arm around her mother and said, you know, you didn't do anything wrong. You know, it's not your fault that Michael, you let him go, uh, you know, out to visit her, you know, his friends. The Packers lost their playoff game. Joe Philbin, father and coach, was at a crossroads. We were numb, you know, shell-shocked. So I walked downstairs and saw my son, who's 16, and, uh, you know, I just asked him how he's doing, and we'll be all right, and, you know, don't, you know. Everybody was obviously, um, you know, dejected over everything, and, uh, you know, and then he just asked me, you know, Dad, are you going to go after the Miami job or something? And I said, ah, you know, I don't know, Tim. I haven't even thought about it. And then he just, you know, you know, he just said, you know, Mike would want you to do it, so. Obviously, as a family, we've endured a heartbreaking loss. When I was talking to my son, Tim, you know, that was kind of the start of, uh, you know, me kind of getting back and uh, getting moving again. My whole family's been involved in everything I've ever done, and they've been behind me 100%, so that's what we do. That's what we've done our whole lives together, and uh, so it just seemed like the right thing to do. It always hits me at the end, always at night. It's good and bad, you know. It, it keeps them fresh and, you know, all the, the, the good memories, and then it's... There's the pain that's associated with it, but uh, there's lots of it, that's for sure. Long shot tight end Les Brown's first in, last out approach to practice hasn't changed a bit. Unfortunately, neither has his blocking. He's got to be perfect on his technique for everything to work right. Now. And and some of it is he's a light guy. You know, he's not built like a normal tight end. He's really built more like a wide receiver. I see his niche and where he can be used. Ultimately, it's going to be up to him to sharpen his craft and to actually find his niche. All right, good homie. Let's that boy in. <laughs> The extra work seems to be working. This week, other tight ends are looking over their shoulders, especially number 84, Michael Agnew, who needs to start showing the goods that prompted the Dolphins to take him in the third round of this year's draft. You can't, I cannot, I could not hear the snap call. No. I had to peek the ball every time. Black face, black face. What is it? Oh, shark. Hey, stay on, stay on this kid, would you? Yes, stay on him. He needs it, man. He's a good kid, but he just needs to know how things go around here. Yeah.
Expectations are just as high for number 42, Charles Clay, a hybrid tight end fullback who started nine games last season as a rookie. Chill, 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 chill. You got it? You're coming this way. You're coming across the street. You got it? You got it? Charles, who's Charles? Charles, I'm telling you right now, I got nothing to say about you in these meetings other than he's not doing his job. You better start picking your shit up. That wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. You, you heard us the other day. Michael Agnew, where are you? You were terrible. Terrible. I would cut you today if I was the general manager. I would cut you. you, you get your head out of the ass. We're not, this group is not waiting for you. You're drafted as a high pick. Get your shit going. Do you understand? It's not good enough. Do you understand me? I mean, just to understand how this thing works, we watch a practice like this, we're calling tight ends around the leg, because who's available. That's what happens. So let's be real about this thing. There's no, there's no full scholarship. Let's talk about, uh, OK, the meeting tonight. Just make sure, make sure you got thick skins. You're feeling the heat now, you're getting pressured, and you either respond two ways, either you, something good comes out of it, you know, or you fall away, you know, and you let it get to you and you let it get in your head. And that's what he wants to know right now. That's why he's doing this, you know, and he wants to know how, am I, how are these guys going to respond to this. And he is trying to draw the best out of each and every one of us, all right, and he's trying to correct problems. Entering the second week of camp, the Dolphins' three quarterbacks are working on their own problems. Of course, it's a lot easier when you get to grade yourself. How would you guys think you did individually? Start with you, Matt. Some good, some bad. Okay. Lot to improve on. You know, overall, I thought the ball came out fine for everybody. I was watching most guys. Fine for myself, you know. Still, it's all about the feet. Got? Gotta step up. Yes. Five step. A couple times. Even though you feel like you're short, you can be. You'll see the tape. Step you'll see the tape. Yeah. There's, there's probably about two sacks in a row there. You didn't feel what you took, but. Quicker on a couple, but and step up. Yeah. Cubes on three. One, two, three, cubes. Veteran free agent David Garrard, who missed all of last season with a back injury, is atop the depth chart. I'm excited to be where I am right now, and you know, hopefully, I can just continue on. Ooh, 98! Go! Yeah, he's got a strong arm, too. Garrard. It's not very strong, I think. You know, I'm always seizing a moment. I'm always seizing a day. You know, you have to treat every play, every snap, every day like it's your last. Yeah. Good job, Dave. Let's have to compete. Nice job. I'm so fundamentally sound, Coach. I know. I'm happy, I'm healthy, uh, I'm moving great, so I need to continue to, to capitalize on my opportunities. Matt Moore is still in the mix for the starting job, but to win it, he'll have to elevate his play. I almost, that would have been sick if I just plucked it. Shabah! I've realized that, 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 you know, it's always gonna be difficult, no matter what you do, especially at this level. It's the greatest game in America, obviously, and, and there's only 32 spots uh, in the country, th th there's 32 guys that do this specific job title. And so I have an opportunity to do that. Hey, two minutes, let's dominate these fools. Let's go. Ah! That's a good ball, Matt. That's a nice job. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Come on, Matt, set your feet, let it go. Come on. Nice ball, get it. Get it down, come on. We gotta make that play. Make that play every time. Come on, man. Hey, come on now. Keep making plays. Hey, let's go now. We score, it's over. Let's go. Fourth down, we gotta make a play. Go! That's game, huh? We can't, we can't do that. God. No, not you guys. Ryan Tannehill is trying to make the biggest jump in football, from hotshot prospect to starting NFL quarterback. Yo. 
that thing out, Ryan. Good, 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 good. So a little more torque on that. Unload that son of a gun. Good location. Unload it. You got the arm. Oh, yeah. Have you been pleasantly surprised by by Ryan since he got back? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, I like him a lot. So you know, here's Ryan against this is a blitz drill against press, you know? That's a good wow. throw. Yeah, that, that's the stuff that he does, you know, he can really do well. He's got, got good accuracy. I love the fire and all the grit and the moxie and everything. Huh? Please don't dive out here on the practice field. Please don't huh? I tried to step up, somebody wrapped back around. God sting it. All you gotta do is be lost to a, a dive out here and practice in the first week of training camp. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get that first, though. I'm gonna get that first, though. Man, that haircut is terrible. <laughs> Who did the haircut? <laughs> hey, now, boy, you sweet, boy. Two thin lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, thin lines. two thin lines. It's, it's more aerodynamic. <laughs> the vets aren't fooling anyone. They're not interested in aerodynamics. They're just looking for their next victim. Hey, go get a razor for his eyebrows. Take him. Go take him to the mirror. Don't need no mirror. Oh! Oh, Josh! No! I'm not going to hear the end of this. What happened to your head? What happened to your eyebrows? Josh Samuda has already lost his eyebrows. Good thing the rookie guard hasn't lost his sense of humor. Stand up, stand up, Samuda. Stand up. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Glad we're such a first-class organization, Josh. Way to go. What's your, what's your big concern? Do you have one right now? Receiver no, I don't group, have maybe? You know, I'm evaluating the receiver group very closely. Uh, I like the group very much. They're a bunch of young, hungry, arrow-up guys. They got to somehow find a way to separate themselves. We got fours, fives, and sixes. Right. What yeah. we need are threes, twos, and ones. Yeah. And I got to find out, uh, we have to find out who those threes, twos, and ones are if we have any of those guys. In the offseason, the Dolphins had hoped number 18, Roberto Wallace, would separate himself from the pack of pass catchers. But he didn't because he couldn't get separation from the cornerbacks who covered him. Ten days into training camp, and the third-year pro is running all the routes, but not getting anywhere. Roberto Wallace, I'm, I don't know, I'm struggling with a little bit. It doesn't seem to be moving forward at the same rate that a lot of the other guys are. It, you know, it doesn't seem like his legs are underneath him. You know, he's not separating, you know, a, a whole lot, and he needs to be able to do that for us. Holy smokes, he wears ankle weights. Seriously, struggling. Who is it? Wallace is struggling running for some reason. Uh, ankle weights. Ankle weights, <laughs> ankle weights Wallace. Normally, the NFL revolves around talent, but sometimes a knack can get you noticed. Hogan played lacrosse at, at Penn State. You didn't play football? No. Really? And he went to school at Monmouth in Jersey. Oh, okay. He played DB. <laughs> Chris Hogan's knack is getting open. He's been camp's most pleasant surprise and earned its best nickname. Hell yeah! Go! 
bogey. Always open. Always open. Did you hear Reggie Bush called him? Called him 7 Eleven, open 24 hours. Give it to 81. He always open. Look at him. Look. What I tell you? What I tell you, Rizzy? He can't be stopped. <laughs> All he does is get open. Give it to 81, coach. He always open. Just give it to him. 7-Eleven. My <laughs> man literally like looks like he's jogging and then just very deceptive. He ain't blazing fast. He ain't gonna outrun you. Just get open. You know how to run routes. <laughs> there you go. Over for business, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I guess my nickname has become 7-Eleven. It's a compliment to me. Um, you know, I, I can live with that nickname. <laughs> go, go. It's not coming. It's, you did. It's not coming. You did. Ooh, 88. Go. Chad Johnson is sassy, savvy, and utterly unable to shake number 24, cornerback Sean Smith. <laughs> we ran a slant on the first thing. All you did was this. Play over. You could play that too, but why not switch it up? It's like having sex. You don't want to give it the same stroke every time y'all lay in the bed. I've already had this conversation. Oh, I feel you, but... It's her. It's gonna yeah. get boring, and she's gonna cheat on you. Change it up. I already had this conversation. It's, it's good to be home, and I don't have a choice but to succeed. A lot of eyes you know, watching in general. But, but being here, I got to, bro, really. Chad, the buzz the first few days of camp is that you're looking pretty good and probably have a, a roster spot locked up. Do you feel that way? No such thing as locked up. I got to earn a spot, 30 and four. I got to earn a spot, and that's, the, that's my mentality coming into this. It's nothing locked up. After his profane press conference, Johnson has talked less and listened more, especially to his coaches. Remember what I told you? The more you give, the more you get. The more you give, the more you... I swear to God, it's yes. never failed me. I remember. And the more you give to your teammates, every chance you get to talk, yeah. you blow their minds away. You blow the media's minds away. Everybody thinks you're selfish. They do. Who knows? Why, why did they think T.O.'s a bad guy? You know, you have a chance to really do some really unique stuff and show people what you really are all about. But, I mean, perception is reality. And so, but you create, the own, you create your perception. All the receivers know all the different positions? Pretty much. Yeah, X. Pretty much. Z. You know, Chad hasn't been a lot inside trying to get him. You know, the big knock on him when he came here was that he couldn't pick up the system. Maddie, what up? Hey, when we have this and that, and they all the way inside, what the f do I do? You know what? <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to Chad, because he does so much stuff. I don't know if he's like not getting to play yeah. or if he's trying to give me like a heads up on something. Yeah, but he just he's doing so much just, over there. Just no. <laughs> no. That's me, man. That's a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, man. Just make it a basic. Evil, Go as flat evil. as you got this. I think it's good. I think you're pretty good. I, I probably said you crossed over slightly. You might be two inches off to the left, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And more up the field at, at, his, at his inside foot, but you're pretty close right here. Offensive line coach Jim Turner is a former U.S. Marine. And sure enough, the leatherneck is leather lunged. If you jump off sides on a Green, a green Bay play, what are you? You're a goal, okay? Because there is no play. There's no play there. Go! His unit has adopted a band of brothers mentality. We're five as 
one. We act as one. You mess with Jake, you mess with Pouncey, you mess with any of them, you're messing with all of us. So we're like a family out there. And uh, we spend so much time together, we put a lot of time into this. We have each other's back. I know they have my back, and they for sure know that I have their back. A lot of guys have their wives here, and the last day off, you know, got to go home and see their wives and their kids, and I was just chilling in the hotel, so I'm excited, definitely excited to see them. Hey! What are you doing? Hi! Are you good on the plane? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. It's okay. Shake it off. It's okay. You're right. Give me five. It's okay. Shake it off. You tough. You alright? Yeah. No, it's alright. It did bust hey, you. It right here. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, you're alright. Okay. War wound. You alright? Right. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's perfect. But I met, I'm gonna get involved with the Special Olympics. And I met two of the athletes over there, and they're really, really sweet. Could you sign something for their auction? Yeah. Oh, hey, man. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. He's your biggest fan, man. I'm telling you. All right. All right, the dolphin. Oh, dolphin. Hands up, huh? Yeah. You ready for Friday night? Yeah. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's a season ticket holder. Nice. There you go. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Nothing good, Coach. Oh, yeah? Something bad? Yes. <clears throat> okay. What do you got? So, David Garrard was at home watching his kids swimming or turned to watch them in the pool and felt something crunch in that left knee. It's very swollen now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I talked with Dr. Caldwell. His next step would be to get an MRI. Didn't bang it on anything, didn't fall on it or anything, just, like I said, maybe it's father time. <laughs> How's it look? Not good? Swollen. So he can't bend it all the way right now. It's not like it was maybe a little irritated before. Now it's something's going on. I guess I'm bound to have some kind of little injury in my career besides my back. My back was the first thing ever. I guess you can count Crohn's disease too, so. Missed a little time with that. That's not really injury. But, fought through that. I'll fight through this. Not what I was looking for the night before the first game, but it's what we got. Oh, I'll come. Uh, how long is he going to be down there? Is he getting ice or something? Yeah, he'll be there for a few minutes. I'll well, be down. I'll, I'll tell I'll him you'll be down. I'll be down. Yeah, all right. Yeah. What is, uh, what's going on here? Uh, I can't tell. A little fun for Dave? Looks yeah. like. Where's he sitting? You're making another decision. Right there. All right. I hear him. All right. Don't mind me, guys. Speaking Japanese. Now. You, hey, Dave, do you have one of these tips for minor sheets? Man, it could be. It, I think it's going to be the first play of the game. Am Check I starting the game? Is that what you're yeah. looking at me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Big D's down to the count. Oh. 100 cc's drain out of my knee this morning. <laughs> oh, I, I had no idea. <laughs> I don't have all booted up. About anything. Like, what oh, are you okay. going to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> when you went off I ain't got a chance to start. Okay, I'm starting, dude. I better. Yeah, get loose. Hey. <laughs> That's what like they called up for a uh, first series. God dang. QB, we need a QB. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Excellent Go communication. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't listed on this first side. What was this again? Okay, all right, Dave. I, I'm sorry you're in the state that you're in. Thank you. Get well soon, bud. Thank you.
from the get-go, when you get in, these backers are going to do this to you. <clears throat> That's what they're going to do. Be ready. They're going to jam your ass. Be ready to go from the first hit. You understand? I'm telling you right now, get your motor going, because it's on now. Right? It's on. It starts right now, huh? That's going to be our identity, huh? Let's set the tempo now. Let's go. You ready? Go. I'm excited about seeing this offense. No huddle. Fast pace. I think you're in for a real treat. Hand off to Reggie Bush. Bush breaks a tackle. Gets a first down. It's like he's got eyes in the back of his head. There we go. There we go. There we go. Third and a long three. Hey, give me a shot. Let's, let's throw the slant to Chad. And Matt Moore on the slam, and it's dropped. Get it! Damn it! Damn. And it goes through Chad Johnson's hands. That should have been a completion. Chad just dropped it. It went right through his hands. You can't throw the post any better than that. I ain't, I ain't worried. Separation. I think got to be under control. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to catch the light. Chad Johnson's night is over. The rest of the offense can't seem to get started. Was that blocked? Back to throw. Looking, looking. Ball hit the line of scrimmage and intercepted. It was deflected right at the line of scrimmage. Oh, no. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Ah! Okay, and uh, going with Tannehill in this next possession? I'm let's go home. score. Hey, let's get one before half. Let's get one before half. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. There he is. Let's go, baby. Go get him, Ryan. Ryan Tannehill is taking the field for the first time. And the rain decides to come. All right, this is dedicated. This is, this is dedicated. Yeah. Woo! Now I'm about to get electrocuted. 86 yards for half. Let's do it. I just want to get him a completion first. Let's go. Get set. Get set. Okay, let's, let's just keep the tempo going. Daniel floats it downfield as a receiver, and it's caught! Tannehill completes two in a row. Woo, that's pretty. Come on, get us in there, Ryan. Come on. Touchdown. Touchdown, come on! You know he'd love to throw a touchdown pass here. Roberto Wallace, by the way, making some plays. I don't know if this replay is conclusive enough to overturn the call. He didn't catch it, did he? He trapped it. Pass was incomplete. And so it'll be fourth and goal. All right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let the clock run down. We're going to go for it. It's two and a half. Nope. Yeah, we're going to okay. go for it. Tannehill getting some pressure, fires, and it's nearly picked off. Gosh dang it. It's not going to make for a happy husband, that's for sure. There's a whole <laughs> second half. Hey, listen, moving the ball is not a problem. The problem is continuing our drive when we get in the red zone. Moving the ball, doing a good job there. Now, let's make some big plays this second half. Let's get this ball in the end zone the second half. Hey, guys, I think we all understand we got to play with more urgency out there, right? It's not complicated. we got to compete every single snap. Let's finish this game the right way. Let's fight our ass off for 30 minutes. Let's go. Come on, baby. Move it here. Let's go. Play action fake. Tannehill pulls it back now. He runs with it up the middle, dives forward. Roll, big fella. <laughs> got a slide, doesn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. This is an A&M. Cocktail's good. Hey, hey, slide feet first. Yeah. 
As soon as I did it, I'm like, what am I doing? Back to throw, look at fires downfield. Scott Roberto Wallace, beautiful throw. Nice. Second in the yard for the first down, play action fake. Rolling right, just hand out, got a wide open clay. Charles Clay, the important game for him. Sherman yesterday said he's been a little bit inconsistent. We need for him to make some plays. Hey, hey, look good. And Tannehill looks like a first-round pick on this drive. Yeah. Talk to Mike Sherman. So I'm looking for some young guys that can make some plays. And right now, you have to say Roberto Walls, one of those guys. Right King now. Hip, hip, hip. Second and seven from the 11-yard line. Dolphins going in. Back to throw. Looking, looking. Fires over the middle. Touchdown. Charles Clay. That's a hell of a throw. Strong and decisive. That's why they draft him. Nice drive, offense. Way to go, Sherm. No runs One, in the whole drive. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. No, I'm watching too much Packer film. Yeah. Ryan Tannehill, seven out of eight. Very impressive drive. Hey, Zach, get that football for him, his first touchdown pass. Make sure he has that one. Hopefully there's many more. Good job. Nice job on the slant. Yeah. I mean, I wish you were big enough to break yeah. a tackle, but <laughs> hey, I broke the first one. I know, I'm playing. Charles Clay having a heck of a game. Talked yesterday, guys, about Charles Clay been a little inconsistent yeah. so far, but not tonight. He's catching everything. Rising up. You're rising up now. That's what I'm talking about. You answer the call. You answer the bell. Rookie tight end Michael Egnew also gets his chance to wipe away a bad week of practice. Back to throw again is Devlin over the middle and he just can't hang up the football. Catch the ball, catch the ball, catch the ball. Freaking egg move. Relax. Hey, let's go, Dev. We'll fix it tomorrow. Right now, let's make our plays, right? Looking downfield, throws it deep and it's not. Oh! The ball was knocked away by Michael Agnew. Just rolled to the ground and snagged it. Who caught that? Not good for him. Hey, Agnew's got nine plays and Les Brown has zero. Just so you know. When did he say you're going to go in? Bring it fourth quarter. Wait, I'm ready. I'm ready. You call my number. I'm ready. Go, 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 go. Les Brown's out there now. Give him an opportunity. In his first pro game, Les Brown doesn't see a pass. Number 81, Chris Hogan, does record a catch, but could have had others. As usual, he's open all night. I had that. Oh, God. Last gasp effort for the Dolphins on fourth and goal from the three-yard line. Looking right, end zone, and incomplete. And that'll do it. Miami Dolphins will go down to defeat against the Buccaneers 20 to 7. Hoagie was by himself. What do you mean? Where? What do they say about Hoagie? On the oh, left. He's always open. By himself. <laughs> Running the Finley. Why don't you yes. cover two? Yes. The corner, number two. The corner. By himself. Where was everyone else? All right, hey, you know, this is a starting point in a long season, okay? It's one game. All right, it gives us an idea where we're at at this particular point. We did some good things. We've got a long way to go, a lot of room for improvement, and we're going to get back to work immediately to correct the mistakes that we made. Here we go. Dolphins on three. One, two, three. Dolphins! Like, when we first ran out in the tunnel, I was like, this is the best feeling I've ever had no, in my life. No, we were trying. Like, I was like, I could cry right if now. I could just bottle this up and save it forever, David Garrard isn't nearly as happy. His left knee requires surgery. So 
So the plan now is what? They're going to go in and clean it up. Yeah. And what are we looking at, you think? Just if, if, if it's as... Sorry, Coach. Don't. We're going to be all right. It's a long, it's a long road, a little yeah. bump in the road, yeah. a little bump, yeah. a little bump. And I'll let you know, hey, hey, it sucks. You know, he's come in here, he's competed his tail off, and he's impressed his teammates, impressed his coaches. And that's a really good room, that quarterback room, and David makes it better. So let's just uh, let's take it uh, one step at a time, and, and let's just keep communicating on it and see where things take us. Thanks a lot. All right, goodbye. Chad Johnson, currently in Broward County Jail in Florida, arrested Saturday night on a charge of domestic violence. According to police, the Dolphins wideout headbutted his wife of just over a month. Johnson's language, the least of Joe Philbin's concerns today. The Dolphins coach now faced with the dilemma of what to do with the wide receiver. All right, guys, let me have your attention. This isn't going to be very long. I think you're probably all aware that there was an incident with Chad Johnson that was, you know, he was involved in uh, recently. You know, we've worked long and hard to make this a professional working environment, and we got a lot of work to do. So my job's to coach. Yours is to play. All right, uh, there's a situation involved in it. It is what it is, uh, and it'll play itself out once we gather more information. You know, I have faith and confidence that we'll make uh, the right decision and the appropriate decision at that time. I just got a call from him, and he is shook up. I mean, his voice is cracking. Yeah. He thinks you're going to cut him. Right. So he obviously has some inkling of what may be coming. I mean, we had an incident this summer where he was tweeting stuff that he shouldn't have. Then we had the press conference where he goes off on a tirade and F this and F that. And then, you know, now we got, you know, this thing all within. You know, he hasn't been around us a whole long time, so. His temperament isn't great for us, you know. It just doesn't, you know, when things are good, it's good. But when, it's, when things, you know, things aren't so good, he's, he can be a tad, you know. Sit. You all right? Yeah. Uh, I know. I let you down a little bit. Well, well a lot. Well, you know, mm -hmm. I understand what you're, what you're doing. You know, you got the message across clear the first day we met. Right. Not individually, even as a team. And uh. I understood what you wanted from me and what you expected out of me. Especially after our talk, you know, with the having fun and with the, mm -hmm. the media thing. And um, you know, I apologize for embarrassing you with this organization well, and my teammates. I appreciate that. I respect that. Um, I know you're very passionate. I know you care about your profession. You know, and I, like, I hope you know that, you know, everything that I do you know, to the best of my ability, I attempt to put some thought behind, you know, what we do. You know, how, whether it's how we practice, how we meet, uh, how, we, how I deal with players. Um, and I do my best not to, you know, fly off the handle and act irrational. And, you know, and it's just, I don't know that this is working for the benefit of you, me, the Miami Dolphins, or anybody else. And, you know... I think you're a good person, uh, and I, I, trust me, I acknowledge people make mistakes, and so nobody knows that more than me. And, uh... Coach, I've never yeah. been in trouble before. I know that. Ever. Uh -huh. And I buy into your program, most definitely. Because after that talk we had, I was hushed from that point on, and I was right. going to stay that way the entire year. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I it, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not just, it's not really just last night or that, it's just, you know, where we are as a program and where you are and where we're headed, it just, I just don't see the, the mesh right now. And, uh, you know, it's, I wish it was different. I wish I could tell you something more encouraging, but, 
you know, I just think it's the best for both of us that, you know, we kind of part ways at this point in time. You know, I, it's not like I'm, I'm trying to flex my muscles and say I'm the head coach and let's make an example of Chad John. It has nothing to do with that. It's more about, you know, how you fit in, how, how we fit in together, how this thing is, where this thing is heading. Just don't see it being where, what I thought it would be or what I hoped it would be. And, uh, you know, it's I'm sure it's not, it's not good news. It's not good news for us either. Uh, but I'm certain you can, you know, you can overcome this thing. And, you know, is there anything more to say? No. I mean, no. Um, just thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate it. myself. You, yeah. You know, how much more I can say it. No, I know. I appreciate it, though. Well, I, thank I, you for the chance. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wish that we were having a different type of a conversation. I mean that. Right. But, uh, yeah. You know, I wish you a lot. I wish you well. I really do. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.